So first off, analyst reporting, what's the problem? You kind of ask yourself, because that's what they're meant to do. But um, what I'd say, and I challenge that, um, and we'll see coming up in a few slides, that shouldn't be the main thing they're focusing on. They should kind of have this down pat and then focus on actually finding insights and generating dashboards which are right for the business and you. So, you know, to put that into context, I've got a little video here uh, which talks about that. I won't run through it now. Click on this link to check it out. But essentially, it talks about how your analysts shouldn't spend all their time cutting and pasting data, updating spreadsheets, emailing out multiple versions every week. You know, that time could be better spent being an analyst and actually, you know, finding those insights. So go check that out. It's only about a minute long and it helps convey the point. And I call them data monkeys. You know, but those kind of actions are being a data monkey. And you know, you're paying your analysts good money and you don't want them to do all this data monkey work. They should be you know, realizing their full potential for you and your business. So let's role play. Let's put it into perspectives, you know, rather than just talk theory. So I live in Singapore right now. And let's set the scene. So in Singapore, there's lots of haze. And typically it occurs around about these times. And it gets really bad. There's you know, smoke from other countries coming in when they backburn their crops. And it's not ideal. You know, it's not very healthy to breathe this in and it's, you don't get to see the beautiful views of Singapore. In the same vein, mask sales, like breathing mask sales, skyrocket, and especially this model. And uh, you know, it makes sense because you know, you've got to still go outside, you've got to breathe. So naturally you want a product to help you do that. So let's just say you're a retailer in this situation and uh, you, know, you want to use all the data available to you in the real world and your sales data to you know, maximize your sales and revenue. It also helps Singaporeans find the best protection they can from the haze. So how do we do that? Now, you probably have a bit of a think to yourself and there's many different data sources you could kind of access to. And we're gonna see how we can connect them all. But, you know, we've got this uh, haze data from the Singapore government, Twitter data from their API, AdWords data, which is like your search marketing spend, advertising spend. Google Analytics, which is like your website traffic data kind of analysis stuff, and stock levels, which you've just put in a Google Sheet, just kind of like Excel, but online. Uh, so you monitor your stock levels of your mask. Um, that's all very well and good, but right now you've probably got all these data feeds and they're coming in separately, you know, very hard to see, they're very disjointed, they might come in at different frequencies and different formats, and it's hard to find the insights between them. And equally, again, you're wasting a lot of your analyst time generating these manually and being a data monkey. 